Hummer, an iconic car brand from General Motors, was the ultimate SUV to get if you were a celebrity in the early 2000s. Every celeb you knew in the United States seemed to drive one, from Mike Tyson to Britney Spears. In 2010, all Hummer manufacturing came to a halt, and the brand just stopped being. What happened then? And what is happening now that the brand is back up and alive? Let us dive deep into the journey in this episode. Hummer's story begins with the United States military. The military used the Jeep as its go-to vehicle during the World War and through the Vietnam War. But around the 80s, it started looking for something more heavy duty. The Jeep did not have a lot of power. It could not pull a lot of stuff. It could not carry a lot of people. It had no armor. The federal government decided to offer a contract to AM General, which was around a billion dollar proposal. The contract stated they need for a high mobility multi-purpose vehicle. These were finally launched as Humvee and were primarily designed to carry troops and cargo. The Humvee did not have a lot of armor but it was at least slightly more survivable in terms of being shot at or having something blow up right next to it. Humvees rose to fame after being seen in action during the Gulf War. They were also used in military procession which was how they caught Arnold Schwarzenegger's eye. While filming his movie Kindergarten Cop in Oregon, the actor saw Humvees rolling by and immediately wanted one. They reminded him of his younger days when he drove tanks while serving in the Austrian army. So he contacted AM General to try to get his hands on one. When he was turned down, the star pushed for a civilian version to be made and AM General listened because Arnold Schwarzenegger influenced everybody at that point in time. In 1992, a civilian version of the Humvee officially went on sale. Named the Hummer, the boxy vehicle cost up to $100,000. Considering how lackluster it was in terms of features, it was ridiculous for a car this massive and gas guzzler to be sold off for such high prices. The Hummer averaged less than 4 km a litre and weighed around 50,000 kg. In 1999, General Motors brought the right to market and sell Hummers from AM General. Thanks to the booming economy and low gas prices, Hummers sales took off, especially in Hollywood. Also, people saw it in active use during the first Gulf War for the first time. Thus, a lot of people also saw owning a Hummer as an act of patriotism. Hummers eventually came to embody America's super-sized lifestyle and the people who aspired to it. General Motors continued its spell with Hummer H2 and later a budget Hummer H3. They were made on similar style hallmarks but made cheaper versions for the brand to be more easily accessible. But while Hummer's in-your-face quality initially drew consumers in, it soon led to its downfall. Hummer's became a symbol of wasteful consumption. People just started seeing it as a symbol of everything that was wrong with Detroit. Everything that was wrong with American attitude about cars. Everything that was wrong with patriotism. Everything that was wrong with the militarization of American society. Everything that was wrong about the way we treat the planet. Throughout 2003, protesters set fire to Hummer at several dealerships in Los Angeles. And ironically, while one war helped make Hummer popular, another would bring it down. The war in Iraq shot up gas prices which made owning a Hummer seem even more impractical. Then, in 2007, the financial recession hit and Hummer's parent brand, General Motors, was in big trouble. In 2009, General Motors filed for bankruptcy and discontinued a number of its brands and one of them was Hummer. It had to end finally and it ended on a way worse branding than it ever had. Born out of war and hubris, the brand lived a notorious life, not a glorious one. It did not die of natural causes, but a financial calamity caused in part by war and hubris. And now, General Motors is reviving the iconic brand after more than a decade. And the branding that General Motors is planning to attach to Hummer this time is so bang on that it needs a round of applause for how they went about it. General Motors revealed the Hummer EV recently. The Hummer, symbol of pre-2008 recession gas guzzling excess, had been resurrected as a 350 mile range electric super truck with three electric motors, 1000 horsepower engine, adjustable air suspension, and diagonal driving. The electric truck is set to go into production in late 2021, possibly ahead of Tesla's Cybertruck. The resurrected Hummer will be made and sold under the GMC brand at General Motors Detroit factory, recently renamed Factory Zero, which the automaker is pumping $2.2 billion into it as it gears up to mass produce electric vehicles. Organic. Now, there is a word that has never been used to describe the Hummer until now. The Hummer pickup truck is slated to go into production in late 2021 with deliveries starting shortly after. That is right around when Tesla Cybertruck is supposed to hit the road and just a few months after EV startup Rivian will begin shipping its own electric pickup and SUV. General Motors also plan on making an electric Hummer SUV, though there is currently no time frame for that vehicle. 
the Hammer EV puts an end to any dithering about positioning. General Motors' new marketing effort is unbashedly performance focused with an emphasis on authentic off-road ruggedness. They pull out all the chops to show this vehicle can conquer even the most challenging terrain. Their marketing briefly points out that this vehicle is zero emission, diffusing environmental critics. It will likely be years before the efficient use of electricity becomes an issue if it ever does. At the moment, the Hummer EV seems as environmentally friendly as Tesla. General Motors is unlocking the cell doors, promising a remade and rehabilitated version of a Promer villain. No matter which way it goes from here, the tail of the electric Hummer will have one thing in common with this electric forebear. It's going to be a wild ride. Thank you for tuning in. Like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my content on your timeline. Goodbye.